NBA basketball. Friday Hoops Fest coming up next. It's the Los Angeles Lakers going up against Russell Westbrook and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And without any further ado, let's head to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew at the arena. I'll be back at halftime. I'm the best, so I don't have to practice. Double G, I don't have to pass it. All all what I better way to end the week? Welcome to the NBA here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Steve Kirk, Mark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. Glad you can join us for our Friday night edition of the NBA. A look here as we present the State Farm starting five. A look at who the Lakers have on the floor. World Peace is Saul and Bynum on the front court. Kobe is out there with Ramon Session. And for the Thunder, Durant, Ibaka, and Perkins compose the front court. Westbrook and Cephalosha in the backcourt. And one of the things you like about the Lakers, their ability to go out on the road and win. In fact, last season, they were 27-14 and 14 away from Staples Center. Now, here is Ibaka. Westbrook kicks to Cephalosha. Here's the screen. Terrific design on the pick play. And he lays it in. cephalosha has got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Thunder. And the Lakers, Clark, a smart veteran team, you know that. How much of an asset is that to winning on the road? You can't overstate it. I mean, it's really huge, Kevin. Keeping your composure, staying focused, understanding what's coming and what you need to do to seize games on the road. Some folks call it that killer instinct. And those are the things you have to be able to do. And the Lakers, quite honestly, a terrific example of all of that. And, you know, one of the reasons Oklahoma City traded for Kendrick Perkins last season was it allowed them to slide Serge Ibaka to the starting power forward role, and he's ready. A long, athletic defender at 6'10". He's, he's a, a really good player. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Mike Brown. And uh, what'd you find out, Doris? On the defensive end of the court, guys, he said the effort would be anchored by their big men, who he expects to wreak a little havoc in the low post with their shot-blocking prowess. Back to you. Thanks, Doris. Uh, well, guys, give us your thoughts on that. Well, you know what? I think the game plan for a lot of teams, really good teams, starts with good deep. So it's pretty much what I expected to hear. And for this club, that's the way it should be. I mean, they need to send a message defensively right away. Uh, when you take it to your opponents on the defensive end of the floor, it sets the tone early. Here's Cephalosha. Six to shoot. And Perkins backs in. The basket good off the assist from Durant. Perkins got his first bucket of the night. Speaking of Serge Ibaka, he picked up the game late in life. And he's still developing his awareness. Certainly at all. Yeah, I think you'd have to call him a raw prospect offensively. And that being said, Kevin, he's got pretty good form on that jump shot. And it does go in. So he's um, got a nice foundation to build on. Here's Westbrook. Just over three minutes left in the first. Over Sessions. And it's Westbrook again missing. Oklahoma City on D. It's a look. Serge Ibaka pulls it in. That's a good shot. High percentage. Can't complain about that one. Cephalosha. Hey, Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Cephalosha's got his second basket. And Sessions kicks the Bynum. World Peace jacks up a three. No good. Durant with some nice D. Straight up. Stuffs it through. Didn't take long to get that hoop. Guys, they sure made the D look slow that time. Westbrook against Sessions. It's Kobe Bryant on the way. Outside, world peace. Lock at six. Backing down is Bryant. Leans, and he chooses to bank it in. Kobe's got his second bucket of the night. That's exactly what they had in mind on that possession. You know, the Thunder guys showed their talent in the playoffs last season. I think that devastating loss to Dallas in game four of the conference finals was where they finally kind of caved in. Screened by Perkins. Westbrook against Sessions. 
Westbrook double team. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Nick Collison's checked in for the Thunder. Harden comes in for Cephalosha. Matt Barnes is checked in for the Lakers. Blake comes in for Sessions. Gasol backing down. Passes to Barnes. This one for three. The shot no good. So Oklahoma City will take it the other way. Now Clark, you mentioned game four of that uh, Oklahoma City-Dallas series. A 15-point lead for the Thunder with five minutes left in the game. Dallas came back and forced overtime. And I remember the Thunder's incredible fans. Even admits the most heartbreaking loss of the season. They were chanting OKC, OKC till the bitter end. And they have diehard support there in Oklahoma City. And the Lakers making a change here. Sessions is checked in. So here's Westbrook looking for his first bucket of the game. Gasol against Collison. Harden against Sessions. Here's Collison. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. And Steve, if I'm them, I'm, I'd keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. If they don't offer resistance, take everything you can get in there. Here's Westbrook. Back to Callison. Harden. They're moving the ball. A 10-footer. And the rebound goes to Pau Gasol. Just cannot find the rhythm. Still yet to hit a shot this quarter. Durant gets the whistle for Black. That is his first foul of the game. Well, he rotated defensively, but probably just a little bit too late, and good call. He didn't quite get to the spot. That's always a bang-bang call for the officials. He got that one right. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Kendrick Perkins has checked in for Ibaka. And Derek Fisher is subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Here comes Durant. Whoa! Here's another look with the Sprite Slam team. Boy, that dunk got everybody up off their seat. Oh, they're loving it, aren't they, Steve? Well, how could they not? I mean, he put the cherry on top of the Sunday on that one. <laughs> <laughs> There's the triple. The shot, no good. Not the best shot. Long range and with a defender right in his face. And defensively, that's the kind of work he's known for. I mean, he loves he no short. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. Lakers trail by eight. Well, Matt Barnes is one of those guys you call an irritant. I mean, he bothers his opponent by really getting into his body, uh, maybe throwing a cheap shot or two along the way, but plays with a ton of passion, just plays hard. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. Taking a look at the Thunder, we've got Derek Fisher. Cephalosha is out there with Daquan Cook. Then there's Nick Collison, and it's Harden in at the two-speed. And Doris Burke has some for us. Hey, Doris. Kevin, Kobe Bryant, one of the best shooting guards in NBA history. But when asked what he wanted his legacy to be, he said, quote, when my career is over, I want them to think of me as an overachiever despite the talent I have. Hopefully, they perceive me as a person who did whatever he had to do to win above all else, above anything, above stats. If they say that about me, I'll be happy. And fellas, with his work ethic, it doesn't seem like a stretch. No doubt about that. Thank you, Doris. Well, Kobe, obviously a guy with so much natural ability, but with his renowned work ethic, not to mention the five titles, I think he is a guy who did a great job of realizing his, his vast potential. Here's Cook. Misses the three, and he used the pump fake well there, but uh, he couldn't capitalize. Well, Oklahoma City is a team that has gotten better and better for the last few years, and they continue to get better against the Western Conference through a five-game improvement uh, in their record versus the West a year ago from the season before. For the Thunder, Kendrick Perkins, he's checked in for Collison, and it's Ibaka in for Tavo Cephalosha. The Lakers also changing it up. Al Gasol has checked in for Murphy. World Peace comes in for Matt Barnes. And Kobe is subbed in for Sessions. Here's Blake. It's good on the putback. World Peace has got his first basket. 
Boy, that's a nice little tip in right there. And yeah, he just sort of, uh, you know, Steve, he just kind of finessed it up and in there. A beautiful touch. And that's not an easy shot. Even though you're in close, it takes a lot of touch. Nice play. And Fisher kicks to Cook. The three from Harden. No good. And the Lakers go with it the other way. And the Thunder tougher against the West. We talked about that five-game improvement. But they match up well, it seems, Clark, with just about anybody in the Western Conference. And I'll even throw the East in there, too. Yeah, no question. I mean, I like this team's versatility. When you look at the Thunder, they, they've got a lot of things. I mean, they've got size, strength, athleticism. And you need those ingredients if you're going to be a contender. And you have to be able to win different ways. Oklahoma City is kind of team that's growing into that. Um, a well-rounded roster. They're young, so as they get more seasoning, um, they're going to be a really difficult team to handle for a long time. Looking at who's out there now for the Thunder. Nick Collison's checked in for a bucket. Durant comes in for Daquan Cook. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for James Harden. A shot's good from Westbrook. Something has to change, guys. That's 10 straight points coming in the paint against this team. Well, they got to collapse in there, and everybody's got to be conscious of it. It's a team effort in protecting the paint. Control the ball, and then everybody's got to get in there and keep the defense locked down. Kobe against Westbrook. What's up a three? Sessions, no good. The Thunder leading by three. Now, Fisher, Sessions gets the reach-in call. That'll be his second foul of the game. Well, we'll see what happens here. You've got to be aware that's your second foul. question is, do you keep him on the floor or not? So here's Westbrook. Three-point lead. Collison with a screen on Sessions. Westbrook dishes to Fisher. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. And the Thunder lead by five. You know, when you look at Westbrook, he's not your prototypical point guard. I mean, he's a guy that can make passes, but he's much better when he's attacking the rim, looking to score. Hill passes to World Peace. It's good from long range. World Peace has got five points now in the quarter. And that's his first three-pointer, so maybe that one will get him started. For the Thunder, Baca comes in for Kendrick Perkins. And it's Harden in for Derek Fisher. The Lakers also changing it up. Saul comes in for Jordan Hill. And Steve Blake is subbed in for Sessions. And Clark brought up Westbrook's score. Steve, it's so easy for him. It just makes sense. Yeah, he can get around anybody at any time. And I think sometimes it actually hurts Westbrook a little bit because, uh, you know, he has to rein in his own talent and, and understand circumstances and situations a little bit better. But that's all going to come as he gains more experience. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Well, Kevin, in 2010, the Thunder lost to the Lakers in the playoffs in a six-game series that was highly competitive, and it remained a big motivation for the improvement of the Thunder. Kevin Durant was completely moved by the standing ovation the Thunder received after the Game 6 loss on their home floor. After losing in the Western Conference Finals to the Mavs this past season, we might see even more of a leap by this talented young team this year. Guys? Thanks, Doris. Thunder will be as hungry as ever this season. And with the Thunder, you can see the connection they have with their fans. I mean, the players are playing for the entire state every time they take the court. Blake kicks to Sessions. Hands it from downtown. Sessions got five now. That's nine straight points coming off three three-pointers. The defense just getting shelled. Steve, the threes are killing him. I think they've got to find a way to chase him off the three-point line. And that one's good. Westbrook. I really like the fact that he's getting the touches he needs here after not scoring a single point in that first quarter. Sessions dishes to Bynum. World Peace defended by Durant. And it's World Peace missing. And I think whichever team starts to dominate the glass could really take control of this game. I won't disagree with you. I mean, it's so tight between these teams right now on the board that um, you're just waiting to see which team might pull away. i tell you what, right now that mid-range jumper serving them well. Yes, it is, guys. That's six of their last ten points coming from that mid-range area. I'll tell you, the defense was right there just waiting, doing a nice job of anticipating that play. Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. Thunder lead by five. 26, the Lakers, 21. 
a great Saturday for some NBA action. Here's your weekend edition of the HP Halftime Report. Oklahoma City up on top against the Lakers. Their passing has been something to admire. All the assists coming in bunches. Russell Westbrook leads the game in scoring. The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. Here's Kobe. You know, for so long, we've seen the Lakers coast into the playoffs, put themselves in a tight spot, and then find a way out of it. But in that series versus Dallas in last season's playoffs, they really looked like a tired and overmatched team. Second half underway, and here's who Mike Brown's got on the floor. Howe and Bynum filling up the middle. Kobe and World Peace are the wingmen, and it's Sessions in at the point guard position. Kobe can't get that one to fall. I like the defense, guys, really getting a hand up and challenging shots. Yeah, Steve, lurking on that shot, and that was a tough one. And for the Lakers, Kobe said, Clark, after that series, we've been playing with fire the last three years. Now we finally got what we deserve. Uh, Steve, that is a very interesting quote. T take it apart for us and, and delve into it. Well, I think the Lakers had been to the finals for three straight years, and I think they were worn out emotionally. And uh, for a couple of those playoff series over the years, they, they did uh, play with fire and get away with it. Uh, not last year. Dallas just destroyed them, and I think the Lakers just looked tired, uh, both physically and mentally. Changing sides didn't seem to help them at all, huh, guys? They've missed their first three shots in the third quarter. And here's Westbrook. He has six. Durant for three. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Westbrook's got his fifth assist in this one. Good team play there. You move the ball until you find the right shot for the right person. They're a well-oiled machine, Steve. I mean, working extremely well as a cohesive unit. Every pass delivered on time and on target. A lot of ball movement and player movement. It's a thing of beauty. Matt Barnes is checked in for the Lakers. Coming up the floor for the Lakers, Matt Barnes. And stolen by Barnes. You know, he got a fingertip on it, but not enough to control the pass coming in that fast. That's great work on the boards there, fighting for that rebound. He gathers. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Remote session. Boy, every time they drop it in, they do so from close range. Easy basket. Yeah, high percentage looks time and time again, guys. And it's paying off for them. The way they're playing this game, I, I like their strategy. I thought Gasol got off to such a fast start last night, but he kind of worn down as the season went on. He was asked to play big minutes, especially early when Andrew Bynum was out with the injury. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. They work hard out there. Go on, show your appreciation for the Thunder Girls. Here's Westbrook. Six points for him. And then, of course, uh, for Paul Gasol in the playoffs, a lot of disappointment with his play, Clark. Uh, a game, in fact, or two where he even got booed at the Staples Center. Yeah, you never like to see that, but he clearly did struggle in the playoffs. And he's extremely gifted, but some have tended to try to question his mental toughness or killer instinct. And I quite honestly think it's unfair. He's got a disposition and demeanor that lends itself to that kind of criticism. But anytime you can perform the way he has that's impressive and it actually helps him the fact that he's got a deferring type of personality to be an ideal number two guy for the lakers with kobe bryant being the obvious lead dog there so it's a good fit i think that's interesting here's kobe goes up and lays it nice and easy kobe's got eight points you know he's not going to make a mistake when he gets in tight that's a good hoop there Westbrook with it. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Nice persistence to tip it back up and in. Six points for him. They keep pounding them on the glass here in this one. Just a tremendous job rebounding the ball. Well, that's half the battle. I mean, you go after it every single time. It's a mindset. You never assume the shot's going in. You've got to always assume the shot's going to come off the rim and it's going to be yours. And, you know, one key for the Thunder, why they're so tough, they, they do a great job on the glass. You know, everybody boxes out. The perimeter guys are long and athletic. An excellent rebounding team. 
And here's Kobe for three. That's good. Good basketball instincts on display there, making it happen. Sessions against Westbrook. Ibaka, the pass to Durant. Over Barnes. No good from Durant. And Steve, you mentioned the Thunder's good rebound. Let me, let me carry that through. Last season, they had the sixth best rebound differential Clark in the NBA. Yeah, and Kevin, you know, with the midseason addition of Kendrick Perkins, they should only get tougher on the glass. I mean, he takes up so much space and understands his role. They're young, but already a big physical team, which uh, doesn't bode too well for the other squads in the mm -hmm. NBA going no. forward. <laughs> Kobe kicks to Barnes, fires the three, and again it's the Lakers from deep. That's now six straight points off open threes. Get a hand up, fellas. Pay attention to the scouting report. Well, you know how quickly things can go south when you start giving up wide open looks to this team. Here's Perkins, and he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Nice time to use that foul to stop the layup. You know, if you can save just one point, that foul was the right move. Nick Collison's checked in for the Thunder. Harden comes in for Cephalosha. The Lakers also making some changes. Jordan Hill, he's checked in for Bynum. World Peace comes in for Matt Barnes. And Steve Blake is subbed in for Sessions. And Kobe throws it down hard. He made sure everybody saw that slam, Kevin. Stayed on the rim for a little while extra. Maybe he wanted to give his legs a little rest there, Clark. Here's Harden with one on the clock. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. Yeah, the points have really come. So as we get rolling here in the fourth, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for the Sprite Spark Report. Doris? And Kevin, for that great stretch the Thunder put together, they get the Sprite Spark Awards. That big second quarter is where they took control, and they haven't slowed up since. All right, Doris, thank you. That run was a critical stretch, Clark, of the game. It sure was. I mean, once the pilot light was lit, they didn't let up. <laughs> well, offensively, it all came together for them, Clark, and it really allowed them to kind of take control of the game at that point. So at Durant sitting on the bench, this is who Scott Brooks has out there. We've got Russell Westbrook. Daquan Cook is out there with Harden. Then there's Derek Fisher, and it's Collison at the center, filling out the middle. Here's Westbrook. Back to Harden. Let's the three fly. Gets it to go. And the Thunder lead by nine. Well, the defense wasn't bad, but I think they've got to tighten up on it. Blake kicks to Barnes. Guarded by Hartley. Good luck. And he gets the jumper to drop. You know, we saw him struggle with his shot in the first half. But here in the second, he's managed to turn it around and be much more efficient. Time call here of the Thunder decide to talk it over. Well, you know, a recent stat said that in the last 15 years, the Lakers are on average the best offense in the NBA. But in crunch time, ironically, they fall to around 12th best offensively. Not nearly as effective. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Yes, Kevin. During that break, Coach Scott Brooks had some words for his team. He was absolutely adamant, saying, don't let them off the hook. Let's keep our foot on the pedal and keep doing the things that have gotten us here this far. We're almost home. Thanks, Doris. Perkins with the bucket. Go back to the Lakers, and they're let down as far as crunch time offense goes. Good point by you. Steve, you take it up. Why do you think that's so? Well, I think Kobe's not the player that he once was, Kevin. I mean, he, he's not as athletic. He's not um, as capable as he used to be getting shots off uh, against any type of defense. And uh, I think the rest of the guys maybe lost a little confidence in themselves as a result. Here's Fisher, 18 feet away, rebounded by the Lakers. 
World Peace has got three rebounds so far in the game. And Kobe the bucket with the assist by Gasol. 15 points for Kobe Bryant. Now Kobe Bryant still chasing that sixth ring. If he ends up getting it, he would tie Michael Jordan. And of course, Michael was always a tremendous inspiration for Kobe Bryant. The free throw drops for Kobe. Stevie mentioned Kobe is still working. toward those six rings he's got five right now but Kobe said thought that you know tying Jordan <laughs> wasn't his motivation you believe that well I do think he wanted to help Phil Jackson go out in the right yep. right way yep. and that of course didn't work out yeah it did not work out but I think it was a combination of factors one he obviously wants to do it because he wants to do it but I don't think the Jordan piece is out of the equation and being one of the inspiring factors for trying to grab that that sixth one, and I mean, quite honestly, he's shown that he wants to try to win it every year. Well, he's always compared to Jordan. I mean, why wouldn't that just be a natural feeling right, anyway? He right. did fold him. For no, certain. no, not yeah. at all. Not yeah. at all. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Perkins. Durant comes in for Nick Collison. And Tabo Cephalosha subbed in for Daquan Cook. Cephalosha dishes to Fisher. Throws up the alley oop. Oh! <laughs> 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 I tell you what, I bet that's the best assist we're going to see tonight. Well, he laid it up there, Steve. A pass where only his teammate could get him. Yeah. Perfect timing. I mean, that's what you need to, have, to make that kind of a connection. That's a tough matchup, and yet he found a way to get off that shot. Impressive. You know what, guys? I mean, those are really the kind of challenges he loves. I mean, he's that kind of competitor. <laughs> Covered by Sessions. Fisher against Barnes. It's blocked. Lakers trailed by five. And here's the fast break. World peace. And here's Kobe from the arc. And the shot is good. Kobe's got 15 points in just the second half. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. They're up by two. There's 138 left here in the fourth quarter. Russell Westbrook's checked in for the Thunder. Here's Fisher. Outside Westbrook. He feeds it to Durant. For the key. And it's perfect. And the Thunder lead by four. Finally getting into rhythm here in the game after that whole first half. And the Lakers call time here. They're trailing by four. A minute 20 left in the game. Andrew Bynum's checked in for Matt Barnes. A minute 20 left in the fourth quarter. Kobe passes to Bynum. Back to Kobe. A three ball. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. They've led by as many as 11 points. Even numbers. Four on four. Beyond the arc. And the Lakers with another miss. Not the best shot. Long range and with a defender right in his space. And defensively, that's the kind of work he's known for. I mean, he loves to lock you up. Sessions against Durant. Shot clock at six. Here's the three. That's good. And the assist goes to Fisher. Just cruising to the finish line. Yeah, and barring something catastrophic happening, um, it looks like they'll go home with a nice victory here. No prettier shot than the finger roll. Smooth and beautiful. It's a joy to see. <laughs> and an intentional foul right there. First one. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we've got the intentional foul. Mahomes sessions. That's his fourth 
Gets the first. That increases their lead to six. Kevin Durant. Shooting. Two. Second free throw misses. And so they foul intentionally. Shooting. Sinks the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Two for two, and it's an eight-point ball game. Here's Kobe. Well, not much they can do at this point. Nope, playing for pride, trying to finish strong for pride's sake. He's covered by Westbrook. Good look, Bryant. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. They get Russell Westbrook. Very easy call to make. There was uh, no question Shooting contact Westbrook. on that shot. Yeah, you know, you can allow a little contact, but not quite that much. And Kobe drops them both. Talk about a clutch free throw, Kev. That one just might have sealed the game. And they go to the intentional foul. That's Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Russell Westbrook. Shooting. Perfect from the line, and it's an eight-point ball game. Timeout called the Lakers. They're behind by eight. There's 14 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, what do you think? This one has pretty much been put out of reach, but they're not giving up. You know what? I'm not sure. I think at some point you've got to concede and save your energy. Fisher with the ball. That's tipped. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. So it's Oklahoma City picking up the win. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin. Well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is...